Now here's the big engine. And I put in this uh, $10 Iridium plug and it seems to work pretty good. What I did with this top right here is on my other plug, the last one just pulled out, this part right here was loose because it vibrates so much so I put a little tiny bit of glue on there. And then I have to find a way to to get this ProMotion um, on off switch is real handy. I have to find a way to, to pipe that in there a little better. Now what I'll have to do is pull the carburetor and I'll use my little forceps here which are we used these back in the 70's for uh, well let's just say that we weren't medical students but we had a use for them. You can buy these at any electrical supply store and they're really great for holding wires or clamps or anything or anything uh, well there's let's just say it works really good on motorcycles so I'm gonna have to lower the clip on the slide one section and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this plug out and take a look at the bottom of it and it should not be wet at all. What I found out about these engines is if you have any leaks of water or fluid inside the combustion chamber, what happens is that gets in that exhaust pipe and it makes that exhaust pipe really, really loud because my pipe isn't that loud right now. So let's pull a plug and see what we, see what the big deal plug shop looks like. 